Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today, we're diving into the Royal Haciendas Resort and Spa in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, a place where you might think you'll find paradise, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First up, the negative reviews. One traveler grumbled, the service was slower than a sloth on siesta. Ouch! Service can make or break a hotel experience. Now, let's talk about the villas. They're spacious and evoke that old-school hacienda charm. But if you're looking for modern amenities, you might feel like you've just walked into your abuela's living room. So, let's rate the room quality a solid 6 out of 10 for comfort but a touch dusty on the decor. Amenities? They're plentiful. From multiple pools to a spa that'll make you feel like royalty, if royalty also had to deal with crowded lounges, I'd give the amenities a 7 out of 10. Food options? It's all-inclusive, featuring local favorites like tacos and guacamole. Just avoid the mystery meat at the buffet, trust me on this one. Food quality? Let's say it gets a 5 out of 10, with room for improvement. Now, let's bring in a positive review, the staff was friendly and always helpful. That's more like it. Let's score staff friendliness an 8 out of 10, after all, we all deserve a little warmth, especially near the beach. Things to do? You can kayak, snorkel, or just lay on the beach, so many options. I give recreational facilities an 8 out of 10. In terms of value for money, at around $200 a night, it's decent but not breathtaking. Let's give it a 6 out of 10. Let's tally it up. Location, 7 out of 10. Room quality, 6 out of 10. Amenities, 7 out of 10. Food, 5 out of 10. Service, 8 out of 10. Recreation, 8 out of 10. Value, 6 out of 10. Total score, 57 out of 100. So, is it worth visiting? Yes, but don't expect a 5-star experience, think more along the lines of a solid budget getaway. Happy travels!